Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and for the given circuit, for this voltage Vy to be zero, we have been asked to find the value of this beta. So this is very simple question and to find the value of beta, we will apply the KCL at these two nodes. So first of all, let us apply the KCL at this node. So here there are three outgoing currents. And the summation of all the three outgoing currents will be equal to zero. That means here, this Vx minus 6 divided by 1 ohm, that is this current, plus Vx minus Vy divided by 2, that is this current, plus Vx divided by 4, should be equal to zero. And here, we are finding the value of beta where this Vy is equal to zero. That means in this equation, we will put the value of Vy as 0. That means now this Vx minus 6 divided by 1 ohm plus Vx divided by 2 ohm plus Vx divided by 4 ohm that is equal to 0. Or we can say that this Vx minus 6 times 4 plus 2Vx plus Vx is equal to 0. And if we simplify this equation, then the value of Vx will be equal to 24 divided by 7 volt. So now let us apply the KCL at second node. So at this node there are three incoming currents that is these two currents and this 2 ampere. So if we apply the KCL at this node then we can write this Vx minus Vy divided by 2 ohm that is this current plus beta times Vx minus Vy divided by 3 ohm that is this current plus 2 ampere that is equal to 0. And since we are finding the value of beta when this Vy is equal to 0, so in this equation we will put the value of Vy as 0. That means now this Vx divided by 2 plus beta Vx divided by 3 plus 2 is equal to 0. Or we can say that this beta Vx divided by 3 is equal to minus 2 minus Vx divided by 2. And we know that the value of Vx is equal to 24 divided by 7 volt. So we can say that it is equal to minus 2 minus 24 divided by 7 divided by 2. That means beta Vx divided by 3 is equal to minus 2 minus 12 divided by 7 that is equal to minus 26 divided by 7 that means beta vx divided by 3 is equal to minus 26 divided by 7 or we can say that this beta is equal to minus 26 divided by 7 times 3 divided by vx and once again we will put the value of vx as 24 divided by 7 volt that means beta is equal to minus 26 divided by 7 times 3 divided by 24 times 7. So if we further simplify it, then the value of beta will come as minus 3.25. That means we can say that for this voltage Vy to be 0, the value of beta should be equal to minus 3.25. And hence, for the given question, the value of beta is equal to minus 3.25.